Hey you guys, welcome back to my table three. My name is Carrie and today we are out and about on grocery day. It's been a while if you follow my channel since I got to post a video. I've been busy uh, balancing homeschool and my new full-time job working at home. So it's been a little hectic and I have not been able to make a video lately. And since today was our our bi-weekly grocery shop, I thought I would bring you along with me. Uh, we made our first stop at our discount grocery store earlier and found some deals. And then we just left Sam's <clears throat> picking up a few things that we needed, which that'll be a new addition to our grocery haul because I haven't, uh, I don't think I've done a grocery haul. Yeah, we hadn't been at Sam's in a while, so I haven't had that in my haul lately. So um, I'll show you what I bought early, earlier in Sam's later when I do the haul. Now we're off to Aldi. So, I hope everyone is doing well. Thanks for stopping by to watch this video. Um, I hope to do a, um, a update a little bit later in the week or maybe next week if I get, just depends on when I get time. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this grocery haul and I'm off to Aldi and then I'll catch back up with you guys and show you all we got today. Okay, so it's been a while since I talked to you guys uh, earlier. I think we had just left Sam and then we were having our lunch. Uh, which we wanted to eat good and stay on plan while we we're out and about and um, uh, Save money on our budget. So what we did was we got a free and I'll tell you more about that later a free rotisserie chicken from Sam's uh, Because we played this I renewed my membership and we played this treasure hunt game and in doing so We got a few free products and one of them was a whole rotisserie chicken So we ate that and I found some uh, good low-carb wraps in there that were only three net carbs per each and that's not something we buy all the time because we don't i don't eat a lot of gluten myself but the and a lot of those if you'd follow true healthy mama they would be called um scoot up sorry um franken foods but these were pretty good they actually were better than the missions low carb tortillas so if you have a sam's check them out they were 295 so they were really good and i'll show you those later so we just had that rotisserie chicken and in a couple of those wraps and that was really good uh, and so we basically ate lunch uh, for, I don't know, a little bit over $3, um, close to $4, I guess, just for the wrap. So that was good and a frugal way to eat while you're out and about because we have to go. I don't know if I've told you guys before, but man, I need, I need to do my, anyway, we have to drive about an hour and 15 minutes to get to our discount grocery and our Aldi store and Sam's. So that's what we're doing. So now we're getting gas. There's Nate. And we still have about 35 minutes to go home. And then I gotta put all this stuff out and hopefully I'll still have light to cover it with you. So we're gonna hit the road. And so <laughs> we'll see you in a few minutes. Let's start with our Aldi's haul. And uh, we have a gallon of milk for my son. He's nine and he loves milk. I got one of their pork loins and I, I've uh, done recipes on here on YouTube with this and on my blog. So you can find that at mytable3.com. I will actually cut this up or either slice it, but this will make several meals for us. Um, a thing of unsweetened, natural, not natural, but unflavored almond milk and then half and half, two things of heavy cream, two things of sour cream. I actually have started using the Aldi sour cream because, if it'll focus. It's not going to, but it's just as good as the Daisy. Um, so it looks like they've cleaned it up a little bit, so I really like that. A pound of butter, I did Colby cheese, and then mild cheddar. Then I got a few bags, looks like two, four, six bags of the steamable green beans. We really like these, and they're 79 cents. Got a can of mixed nuts to snack on. Mild salsa, two jars of pickles. Me and my son are pickle addicts, so we got two of those. Um, I needed parsley to make my own ranch, so I needed that. Some more grapeseed oil, and... The apple cider vinegar from Aldi. I had to look everywhere, guys, to get some of that mother. All of it on the shelf, only very few of it had that mother in there, and I finally found one. And then 85% um, dark chocolate from Aldi. I love to have this on hand. Strawberries. I got a couple of things of strawberries. We love those, and my son really likes them. A bag of lemons for singing canaries and things like that. I had a cauliflower. I, didn't get a, I only got one of these because I still have one in the refrigerator. Two English cucumbers. I love to snack on cucumbers. Red onions. 
um, two bags of the garden salad. I don't know why, but my son likes this uh, lettuce better than this leafy green lettuce. So I got two of those and then two of the greased leafy green. And that is actually all I got from Aldi. Sorry about the color, guys. It's late in the evening here. But that's it. So that's probably one of the smaller hauls I got from Aldi. But that's it. And so now I'll show you what I got from my discount grocery store. And okay, so on my discount grocery store, I got two pounds of the ground uh, chicken breast. It's $1.99 a pound. I like having those for like chicken burgers or something like that. These were the fresh and chicken thigh fillets. Uh, no antibiotics. No, um... They're just cage free and everything like that. So really good. And these are normally about over two dollars a pound, but the store, our discount grocery store had them for fifty cents a pound. So we're gonna stock up for the freezer. They're boneless, skinless size, and we really like those. I was really excited about these. The natural uncured pork sausage. They have uh no artificial ingredients, no preservatives, no byproducts, no added MSGs, no nitrates or nitrates added. So um, I don't, I haven't talked about it much because I have been so busy, but I'm going to try and do update video um, sometime soon. I have had to eliminate MSGs out of my diet. And so I don't know if you're familiar with MSGs, but they are in so much stuff. Um, so these are a good find at $1.49 a pack. So I got four of those. Um, and by the way, with my MSG re, um, eliminated, I have actually lost nine pounds. So uh, we're going to see how that goes for a little bit longer and hopefully I'll continue to lose. This is just uh, a treat we pick up for the dogs. There's two of them in here. We have two little dogs, so we'll cut one in half, and they'll share one, and then they'll share one another day. Of course, anybody that watches my blog, uh, reads my blog, or watches here knows I am a huge coffee fan, and so every time we go to the grocery discount grocery store, they have these little one-pot packs for a quarter. I get them, so we can try different brands, and this one is um, Seattle's Best, which is one that I like, and I got some decaf. And then I got some that are not decaf. I got two things, if it'll focus, two things of less sugar ketchup for my son. Yes, I could make it. I could totally make it. I know there's a trim healthy recipe for it, but I just didn't and I don't have time. So I just picked up two of those because they were a dollar a piece. I saw these at the store and I thought, oh, I love those for quick snacks or whatever. They are 25 cents a piece, but now that I've actually looked at the back of them, they're full of MSG, so, yeah, so I probably won't be eating those. Anyway, they're at least, they're, they were just a quarter, so, all right, and so my son loves these um, jerky and turkey box bites, and these were $1.49, so I got two of those, and then I found this Larissa's Kitchen that says uh, no added MSG, no preservatives, and, but it does have a little bit, it does have a little bit of sugar in the ingredients because of the teriyaki, so this would be something that I eat maybe every once in a while. But I did get it for a treat or maybe stick it in my purse when we go somewhere. Uh, we had some today while we were out and about. And it was pretty good. My husband and I split the bag. So I think that is actually it at our grocery store too. I think my husband got a couple of vitamins. But that is it. So we're going to move on now to my Sam's haul. Which is a small haul. And let's take a look at it. So I just have a few things at Sam's I'm going to share with you. We don't go to Sham, uh, Shams. <laughs> I'm very tired. We don't go to Sam's every single grocery time. But I had a few things that I need to pick up for a blog job. Uh, a sponsored thing that I'm going to be working on later in the month. And later on so you guys will see that. But I needed to get a few things. So we picked them up. I'm going to show you what I got. I first got this steamable four pound bags of broccoli. So this has four one pound bags in it. And we love that, so I just grabbed some of those because it turns out it's a little bit cheaper at Sam's than it is buying it at Aldi. And we like the florets. We don't like the broccoli cuts. Um, speaking of broccoli, I also got two bags of this giant uh, Green Giant fresh broccoli florets. And it is 32 ounces, so two pound bags. And we love to put this on a cookie sheet, drizzle some avocado oil or olive oil, salt, pepper, and then roast it on a high heat. And it is delicious. So I got two of those. I got this two pack of Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. I got a three pound uh, block of cream cheese. I compared this to the um, Philadelphia and the other brand that they had, and this only has two carbs per serving. So I did gonna give this Members Mark brand a try. So let me know if you've tried it below and if you do like it. I'm usually a Philadelphia kind of girl. I just like the taste of it, but I thought, hey, this is a good price and uh, had a good carb count, so I thought I'd try. Uh, we got a 
five pound block of the mozzarella that I'll be grating up um, to and then cutting up and slicing for snacks. Let's see, I got, oh, I found these. I don't know if I mentioned this. Yeah, I think I did. We were in the car. We just had lunch. We had, when we renewed our card, it was time to renew our Sam's card. They had a game going on where you play um, treasure, treasure, I don't know what it is. Basically like treasure map. And so we were going around the store doing that. My son, my son had a really good time in it doing that. And we've come across these that are low carb. And they're like the Mission tortillas. They, they're not white. They're the brown color. I don't know if you can see it. But they are so good, guys. That may have been because I was starving because I hadn't eaten before we got there and ate. But these are only three net carbs per tortilla. Now, they are not gluten-free. If you follow Trim Health Me Mama, you'll know what I mean. They are a Franken food. So it's not something we buy all the time and definitely not something that I eat all the time. But these are very good. And back to the treasure hunting game. Uh, we got a, a rotisserie chicken for free. That was one of our prizes we found. And for our lunch that was on plan, low carb, we had uh, the chicken wrapped in these. And it was really, really good. Okay. So the next thing I had is I got this four pack of the Hillshire Farm uh beef smoked sausages and i'm so excited about these because if you'll see it says no msg added so that's a bonus and then uh the other thing i got is uh oh and it's not very high in carbs it's only two carbs per serving and then i got these hillshire farms premium pork cheddar worth uh no fillers and no msg added and there's 15 in that these were really good deals for these kind of things um we're going to be grilling later this week at my mother-in-law's, and so this is going to be something that I can eat because it's no MSG. So, now, this is something that we never buy. You guys know if you've seen my, but this is bread, but I have family members that will love these um, and brat buns to go with these. So, I'm looking forward to sharing these with them um, and everyone that likes bread with their uh, grilled sausages. And that's all I have. So, it's just a short, uh, I think we only spent like $45 in Sam's. Not counting our membership renewal, so not very much, and not something that we buy every single week, but we do like going when we get a chance. And then the last little bit I have is over here. This is from Big Lots, uh, and so I just got some unsweetened coconut flakes. I think this was three fifty. Uh, the golden flaxseed, which we love golden. I'm not a big fan of the real dark flaxseed. This was three fifty. The spices, my typical garlic and onion powder, which were a dollar each. And then this is a, a couple things I got for um, to go with a blog job. It's just a picnic tablecloth and this serving fork. They were a good price, so I go ahead and pick those up. And then this is what we got from our um, specialty health food store, uh, close to the one of the Aldi's we go to. We got, um, of course, my favorite, the ginger juice that I love to um, put in my good girl moonshines. If you guys like moonshine, even if you're not from Healthy Mama, you know there's a lot of moon moonshine recipes that go around. I'm about to drop you on the internet, so check that out. Hopefully I have not had my finger on the microphone and y'all can hear me. I got two bags of the Lily's chocolate chips. They are a little bit pricey. But it's cheaper than ordering them offline. They're $7.79. And then this was a treat for my husband. It is Ticino, a chicory herbal coffee. It's caffeine-free and acid-free, so it is a coffee alternative. Yeah. My husband is trying to find ways to get away from coffee, and I try to find ways to drink more coffee. But So this one, he got the vanilla nut. It's um, 75% 75 organic, it says. And you guys can see that. It's a medium roast. Um... We've tried it before a long time ago, but he's going to give this a try. We'll probably do a video on it, a review, um, and let you guys know how it is in case you're looking for an alternative to coffee. But it is made with chicory root. It's kind of like an herbal tea made to taste like coffee, kind of. So, yeah, that is it. So, this was our health food store. This was Big Lots, and then that little bit from Sam's. And that is it, guys. So, let me wrap this up. So, that's it, guys. That's my grocery haul for this uh part of the month these groceries will last us about two weeks now that's not all the meat we have we do have a deep freeze in um, a little chest freezer in my laundry room and we still have um, a good bit of meat in there because I stock up when I find sales and when I find like 50 cents a pound I stock up so we do have meat in there I do also have a few frozen vegetables left from the last time we went shopping so 
not a big grocery haul as many may, but we're only a family of three, and we follow a Trim Healthy Mama low carb, mostly gluten free diet, except for every once in a while, like the tortillas. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and my shopping. Stay tuned for a um, weight loss update video later, hopefully this week. If not, maybe next week. Because I have, like I mentioned in the video, lost a little bit of weight since I have eliminated the MSG. So I hope to keep that going. Let me see. Let me slow down and think of anything else. Yeah, and it's actually Tuesday here, which is May the 1st. Where has the year went already? We're already into May, almost summer. So I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope to be making more videos soon. So if you want to see more of me when I'm not on YouTube, you can always check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And also, don't forget, I put out new recipes every month, every, uh, actually a few times a month, over on my blog, which is www.mytableof3.com. They're all low-carb, Trim Healthy Mama, and gluten-free. So be sure and check that out. And if you haven't, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.